What is going on guys? Wiser here and I'm coming to you with recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a random matchup against the Bada Bing clan, uh, FP clan. Uh, these guys are really good actually. Um, fortunately uh, for them, we had definitely had a bit of an advantage for this war, but um, big, big victory. A right? 10 star victory, 84 to 74 was the final. Um, they, the 11s were even, so that's, a, oh my goodness, it's blown up on me. Um, the 11s were even. We each had four, um, but we had three extra Town Hall 10s and an extra 9.5. So that definitely definitely makes an impact. I don't know about a 10-star impact, but, you know, absolutely uh, was to our advantage. And we just took it and ran with it and absolutely had a fantastic job all around. Uh, they did pretty well. They missed a couple of our 11s there, really. Got a few three-stars in there on the 10s. Two or three, I think. Um... And then, unfortunately, like that's got to hurt two two stars on a Town Hall 9, uh, 81%. So, unfortunately, fell short for uh, Bada Bing Clan. Uh, the advantage for us was just too much for them. Uh, but, really, a lot of good replays here. I want to jump right in onto this. And I think we're starting at number 28. Check out life here. <clears throat> good old-fashioned sort of weird alleyway base now. Uh, that unfortunately sections your base off uh, very definitively now <clears throat> um, life really just kind of takes advantage of that is just going to go ahead and basically take out this whole top section with the queen uh, meet everything up with a little bit of a, a kill squad with these four valks with the golem and the king send everything in just kind of jump uh, get that cc killed um, continue into the base and then reinforce with hogs from basically the 12 through uh, 3 o'clock section and it just it, everything just is piece by piece right so phase one's kind of done let's take out this compartment um, let's move on to this next one that expo unfortunately is not reachable but um, really the queen hasn't had any spells used on her at all so um, right like it doesn't matter uh, she's about to walk out of range so there she goes healers are going to heal her back up and everything's going to move right in so a bit off on that poison spell unfortunately it does lose um let those valkyries get a few shots off but no big deal oh comes that baby drag a little bit late as well queen is now in there going to take care of that no problem <clears throat> now looks these valks and the king kind of walk so that's unfortunate um did not get that jump spell down i think maybe he wanted to use it initially maybe he wanted to be through the wall i'm not 100 percent sure but jump spell connects the queen um but just doesn't quite get there right he wanted all of this stuff going into that queen chamber so things are at this point he must be like oh man like what am i going to do now just kind of smartly starts surgically deploying some hogs two down here to help that bowler out um six up at this 12 o'clock section helping the queen out right queen takes down the expo hogs are going to finish off those point defense and everything is just going to meet up in the last phase didn't matter that the king and those valks went down and around you know the queen and bowlers in this golem walk through the core and basically got the same job done so absolutely beautiful read has these back end loons as well still has a bunch of hogs two more cleanup hogs swag heal just absolutely smashed it life nice job buddy swag queen ability bam just smashed it <clears throat> um let's go to 24 good old mock Mock, he literally just killed one of my bases that I just just came off cooldown for friendly challenge. First guy I posted to his mock, he gets a 99% almost at it with this exact air attack. Just first hit. He's getting really good. The idea here, guys, the, you know what I'm finding? Lalo, absolutely right now, you know, as good as bowlers are and Valks are. And Lalo at Town Hall 9, really look at this attack. Just watch. Like, if you can manage to take out the defensive queen... Um, you know, have a plan for the CC troops or an cleanup attack. If you know the CC troops don't attack air, like they're all bowlers and Valks or, or all Valks or something like that, you know, you can take advantage of that. And Mach is just going to go ahead, take care of the queen, take care of an air defense. Just has to work through all of this stuff here. Down goes the air D, and she is just going to walk right in, yank this CC out, right? Down goes that rage. Got to work through that DE store. It's taking a really long time, but he doesn't care. Like, I've seen he's starting the air attacks at, like, 
you know, almost a, with only a minute and a half, minute 45 left in the raid. And he's just smashing through it. So in comes his first hound, second hound, just normal lot of deployment here, right? Keep in mind, he has not even dropped his king yet, right? Uh, queen has to that ability, uh, unfortunately, just misses it on the king. So down goes the queen. So again, look how powerful this is. The queen did her job. Now, of course, you, you want her for the cleanup, but um, he lost his queen here. Like, at this point, you must be like, oh, my God. Like, there's no way I'm going to come away with this. Let's just keep this going. Get those haste down. Hounds are in. This max hound is now um, in there, right? About to burst. Just in absolute perfect timing. He's got a bunch of balloons. The only threat would really be that wizard tower. But there's just way too many balloons. Get right in on top. Boom, down goes the wizard tower just in time. Grounded expo does not stand a chance. There's an archer tower down over there almost at the 9 o'clock, but absolutely just crush this base, buddy. <laughs> you lost your queen. Everything. Of just enough to. This must have been like seconds, seconds left in the raid, if I had to guess, but good, good job, Mock. Lalo is not dead, my friends. I'm telling you. I think I got another one, uh, another one in here that uh, by Leo. Actually, Leo has just been laloing everything right now, and it's it's so predominant. And a lot of people are so focused on defending Valks really and bowlers that they let a little, few things slip with air air defenses um, and sort of a good air defense setup, I should say. Now, <laughs> again, like. I don't think that I, when I build my bases, um, have any problems with air, but Mark just so showed me that is 100% uh, not correct. So, guys, check out these Lalos. Let's, uh, what else I got here? Yeah, here it is, right here. Leo just absolutely crushes this. So, uh, Leo brings a golem. Uh, that's the difference here, right? Uh, Mock is using a queen with some healers. To essentially do the same thing. He's going to send in the kill squad. He's going to take out the defensive queen, the CC troops, and that one air defense. And just a good old-fashioned Lalo. And um, Leo opts for four Lava Hounds here, which is okay, right? You, you, it's always better to be safe than sorry. But you're going to see kind of at the end of this raid, I believe. He probably could have got away with, with just three Lava Hounds. You know, one max one and two more. But whatever, this kill squad getting work done. Down goes that air defense. CC troops are taken care of. Queen's in there, just going to take care of a few more things for, uh, before he ends up losing her. But in comes the air attack, right? La um, Lava Hound is in from uh, basically the 8 o'clock section here. Balloon sprinkling in all behind. Haste spell is down, pushing everything right on top of that wizard tower, right on top of the air defense there. So there's only two more air D, and he still has two more Lava Hounds left. So in goes one of them. Two balloons behind. In goes that last Max Hound. Just following up with balloons all around the base. Rage is down. Haste is down. Just getting great value out of the balloons. Pups starting to do cleanup now at the 6 o'clock. Now that, um, that, that's kind of always key to, to, to these Lalos. That you end up getting a Hound to burst at a spot where you're... Um, the sort of the opposite end of where your uh, loons are going to end up. Because... Um, you want them doing this cleanup early on, right? And then you can drop a whiz like he did. Um, save, save balloons. He has one more balloon. He's gonna save here for cleanup, I believe. Bam! Down goes the that down go those wizard towers. Just really needs to take care of the Tesla. Probably could have saved that balloon for over here. Just has way too many, uh, way way too many of them coming in here. Cleanup time. Pops all over the base. Kill that king. Leo is on a tear with these air attacks. Beautiful. I think Leo had a six-pack this morning. Nice job, buddy. Tree in the bag. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 21. Why is that? I don't show too many of my own attacks, but this base caught my eye. I'm going to pause real fast. Um, see all these uh, compartments on the outside, I'm assuming this is sort of like an HB, uh, HGHB um theoretical defense um because right if you're gonna drop giants on anywhere they have to be through two sets of walls it's gonna take them that much longer so i think that was very innovative but i just kind of tried to expose the fact that that has a lot of extra walls and if you look on the inside of this base though all those apartments are very large um one jump even allows you into a lot of the base here so 
Um, just kind of watch how this plays out. <clears throat> just going to go uh, quick. I, you know, I probably could have one for one for one traded on that. I just wanted to be sure because the golem, I did not want rerouting. So I just dropped this cold-blooded golem, let him path right across Poison early, poison down, take care of that queen so the golem uh, just can live for a little bit longer. The funnel going in, all, like all these clump buildings are just kind of a bait for my Valks that they bring them right in. Heroes are poisoned, so it doesn't really matter. Wall gets opened up. Got these three wizards doing this perfect work on the outside. I really needed those to, to take down these storages so the queen and stuff didn't walk down and around. And everything's now moving to this Tesla compartment. Jump spell is down. Um, I, I didn't actually notice that the because uh, the defensive king died and it kind of blocked that section. So I tried to connect both of those with the jump, which I could have just connected up. But it ended up working out fine. Sent in a few hogs um, from the 9 o'clock and then now a few hogs from the 3 o'clock. Just trying to get, you know, that giant got really good tanking on the 3-point defense. Let all those hogs in there. Heal is waiting for them. The Valks trigger their DGB just in time and also get great benefit from that heal. So double duty on that. Um, you know, send in a couple more. I really try to get this expo down while that giant's tanking. But I don't think, oh yeah, the queen steps up helps out but you're gonna see it just the hogs kind of pitter out here um the the queen ends up getting stuck on a wall here while the cannon's shooting at her and it looked to me for a moment i'm like oh, i'm looking okay I'm like if my queen lives it's definitely a three star come on queen just get through that wall get through that wall i'm literally like screaming at her i'm like get it get the cannon just kill the cannon just get it not quite so i was a little worried at this point because i lose these minions clean up i'm gonna lose this valk over here while this crap beats on this stuff and it's a matter of time there's only literally the, i'm pretty sure i only had like four or five seconds left on this raid tops but the valks get in there just in time bam and bam so beautiful mass valks right 11 valks there right um might have even been able to go more if i could have figured out the fun a little better but the the buildings on the outside for this base actually I found were really uh, well set up to be like anti-funnels. Very, like I said, anti-HGHB base, but um, Valks prevail. <clears throat> Anyhow, moving on. 18, good old days. Speaking of HGHB, this guy is absolutely wrecking bases with this strat. Um, really just... The huge key here is a nice funnel. These baby dragons are absolutely perfect for this attack. They can get lots of work done. Get a nice wide funnel for the for the bowlers that are going to be coming in. The key is those bowlers, right? You need those in under a rage at certain points, getting the distance and killing the buildings, allowing everything to to move on. If um, for you to defend this, all you really have to do is is get the bowlers to split off um, and die somehow. But if you can manage to keep them with all the giants under the healers, under the rages, they get way too much value. It's just it's too much. Um, you know, just just have to sprinkle hogs in here and there around the around the outside as you see the kill squad. See, like uh, things can't reach that. You probably didn't even need to drop those hogs there. Maybe just two on that arch tower you got, could have got away with it, and then use more around the side. But um, boom heal spell goes down right just gets that bomb just perfect split on that those hogs stay alive everything's moving around now bowlers i don't think he's lost one bowler all of them are just smashing through right uh days i believe bring sorry it was a, a one rage and three heals or maybe two rages and two heals um but a lot of guys will vary the spells that they want. Some guys like all rages. Um, some guys like all heals. It's really hard to say. Uh, a lot of it's very base dependent as well. But these bowlers still just getting crazy value. Trying to reinforce with hogs. Finally ends up uh, losing them to this Tesla farm over here. But uh, it's too much, right? The bowlers moving in. The queen full health ability. The king full health ability. Finally uses the king's ability to bust through that wall. You may as well. In he goes. Queen's going to step up, finish off the mortar, finish off the Tesla, and this base is done for. It's a little bit of cleanup. Smashing it, days. Oh, yeah, the troll Tesla in the corner. That's right. Bam. Tree in the back. Nice job, buddy. All right. How about a little 10 on 10 action? Moving up. <clears throat> Good old Zerzi going in on number 11 here. So these level one Infernos, um, all sort of level nine, uh, sorry, Town Hall nine, 
defenses, but no big deal, right? Zerz is going to go in here, 24 bowlers, the old six healers, right? Just drop a few bowlers on either side, get that funnel created. You're going to drop three three healers down a piece on a, uh, both of those groups. Um, these kind of go to the inside. He really didn't want that. He wanted it to go to the outside. Needs to get that mortar down, but a couple end up pathing over. Now, all the rest of it going straight up the middle here. We're going to get right in. Jump spell lets it into that Inferno. Out comes a clan castle. Down comes the poison, though. Queen's in there. Wizards are in there just mopping up those CC troops. Giants are getting good value as well. Everything's pushing through right to that first Inferno Tower uh, under that rage. Second rage goes down. Second jump goes down. Has a free spell. He's about to lay down on this Inferno back there. Bam, there it goes. Freezing that Inferno. I believe, uh, unfortunately, the bowlers kind of take a hike down here a little bit. Queen's up there. Um, see, it's... it's uh, it, what I was just talking about with Town Hall 9, you get them to split off like that, these sort of pitter out a little bit. I mean, these healers down here from the funneling, uh, initial funneling bowlers, uh, he stays alive. I think there's only one bowler there. <laughs> but he lost quite a few there, right? If if a couple more had just followed, this might have not been a three-star. Um, another big piece to this attack that I'm seeing is these, these funneling bowlers. Look at this. One and one on either side that were the original bowlers dropped for the funnel, not the initial pack, right? And they've been doing cleanup all around the outside the whole time. And the queen is not at this point, is not gonna be able to clean up the rest of the base. If it were not for these bowlers on the outside, there's no way this would have been three stars. So just some things to think about. Um, I know uh, 24 bowlers is pretty, pretty crazy, but there is a little bit, a little bit of technique to it. And uh, you know, you got to make sure you're rolling your face off of the, uh, off your iPad <laughs> at the right angle. Otherwise, otherwise your bowlers might walk. Anyhow, tree in the bag for his herds. Nice job, buddy. Just smashed it. Sometimes it just works out perfectly. Um, Niner, good old Iceman going in. 26 bowlers this time. The exact same style of attack. Two rages, two jumps, one freeze. I believe that was the exact same spell comp as well. Um, you're going to see the exact same idea. Let's just funnel everything in. Bowlers on the outside. Get everything going. Get those heroes going up the middle. Jump spell and everything into that queen chamber. The rest of the bowlers are now in. Nice little clump. Going to start smashing everything. First rage is going to go down. Poison go down. Take care of the CC troops. Like, those rocks are just absolutely smashing this base. Bam, bam, bam. Moving through the core here. Like, these bowlers are just ridiculous. Now, look at this little Tesla farm. I like that. The other thing I liked about Ice's attack, he brings these miners, and they just start ripping through these Teslas. Look at the value he gets on the seven miners he sends in right at this very close Tesla farm. Take down all those Teslas. Take down these point defense. They start moving in. I believe they even get the cannon out of the deal. Bam, bam, bam. But yeah, not a heck of a lot, guys. Just make sure your funnel's down. Make sure your spells are on point. You're getting the rages down. Avoid. Look for those DGBs, too. Look at that. Like That is a huge piece to what can cause this raid to fail is if you have your bowlers walk over that, if you're big... 18, clump of 18 bowlers or 15 bowlers, whatever, walks over at EGB, it's over. So, anyhow, a little bit of cleanup, just kind of beat through some walls here. Not a heck of a lot left to see. But a tree in the bag for Iceman. Nice job, my friend. Seven miners got good value there, really good value. I'm, I'm really liking it, Tahal 10. Um, the miners in the CC, they're very, very powerful. Powerful. Um, even a Tahal 9 as well, right? You see that Mach 6 attack I'm talking about all the time. It's actually really, really strong. Um, you know, right now I find obviously HGHB um, and Lalos are very strong, but also that sort of hybrid uh, Govaho with miners in your CC is very, uh, you know, the Mach 6, really, really strong. Anyhow, bada bank, thanks for the war. Very, very, uh, very good war. Really good effort overall from you guys over there. So uh, hopefully we can uh, match up on even terms next time. That would be a lot more fun, I'm sure, for you guys. Anyhow, I'm going to call it a night. It's getting pretty late here. So that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help a bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.